What is going on, Hoop Junkies? My name is Gina Fiener. Her name is Ricky Flores. Yes. And you are tuned in to BTV's Dugout. Mm -hmm. Now, Ricky. Yes. It is that time of the year again. It is. For the National Basketball Association's mid-season classic yeah. happening in the Big Easy. Mm -hmm. And this is where you get to see some of your favorite basketball players in the same team. Imagine yeah. Paul George giving an alley-oop to LeBron James. Mm -hmm. How about Steph Curry dropping dimes to Dwight Howard. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, wait a minute. He wasn't Aww. chosen as a starter. No love for Dwight Howard, but there is love. For love. Yes, Kevin love, love, love will be on the team. And, and well, Kobe Bryant was chosen as a starter mm -hmm. for the team, but we'll see if he decides to play or not. But at least for a brief moment, we'll see Kevin Love and Kobe Bryant on the same team. But, don't, per but don't. perhaps that will happen very soon with the purple and gold. Don't pretend you're not excited about that. You're holding it in. I yeah. can so tell. But anyway, yes, Gino, you are correct. It's 48 beautiful minutes of just pure basketball. It's defenseless, by the way. Yes. So it's going to be a spectacular show <laughs> catered to the fans. And I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for that. Every year, the All-Star Game never fails. And this year will be no different. And this is going to be your third straight time that you're going to the event. It, well, I'm taking you with me though, in in spirit, and you know. Why, why can't you just bring me along? You just can't give me a spare ticket. I I can actually uh, stuff you in my carry-on luggage. It's minion friendly. Oh, let's try that one. Anyway, watch this. They voted for the starters. Now let's start with the Eastern Conference. Indiana's Frank Vogel will coach the East All-Stars after leading the Pacers to the best record in the East, besting out the Miami Heat. Miami's LeBron James led all vote-getters in this year's All-Star game and should be the main gunner for the East. He will be joined on the front court by fellow 2003 draftee Carmelo Anthony of the New York Knicks, who has been on fire lately, and Indiana's Paul George. Meanwhile, the backcourt will be comprised of 2006 NBA Finals MVP Dwayne Wade and 2012 Rookie of the Year Kyrie Irving of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Meanwhile, OKC Scott Brooks will make his second All-Star coaching stint after leading the Thunder to the best record in the West. Golden State Stephen Curry will finally make his very first All-Star appearance. Now, despite playing only six games this year, Kobe Bryant still placed second in votes received this year. Joining them are arguably the top two power forwards in the NBA today, Kevin Love and Blake Griffin. And finally, rounding up the West starters is leading MVP candidate Kevin Durant of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Ricky, during the NBA Global Games, if mm. you remember, I had that um, exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Paul George. Yes, you did. And one of the things that he told me was his goals this year, aside from winning the championship, was to actually be a starter in the NBA All-Star Oh, Game. and look at that. And he actually made it, and I'm so happy for him because he deserves to be there. I mean, the yes. Indiana Pacers have been having a phenomenal season, and Paul mm -hmm. George has been uh, proving himself to be worthy of being a superstar and a franchise player. That makes, I think, all basketball fans happy yes. to see him start. But somebody who's starting this year is Kobe Bryant. Mm. And uh, yeah, he actually took to Twitter and in several interviews, he said that he would rather the younger guys play. And he did also say that fans should vote for Damian Lillard yes. instead of him. Yes. Except that obviously you need that star attraction. Uh, you do. You know, that Kobe to be able to be part of the all-star game. But obviously he only played six games this year. Yeah. Um, I didn't vote for him to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So hopefully uh, Damian gets some time there. Did you vote for Blake Griffin though? See, it's interesting because most of the comments from the fans, when they release the starters list, they would rather somebody else take the place of Blake Griffin. LaMarcus. West. Exactly, exactly. And that is why, since the league has already announced the reserve players, Gino and I will compare notes because we picked out some reserve players as well. For the Eastern Conference, I am going to be picking three front court players and three back court players to complete the lineup. So, drum roll please. My first pick would be none other than the center. Indiana Pacers, no brainer here. You need a center there, so I am picking Roy Hibbert. All right, over uh, to the West, we've been talking about him, and I think that he deserves at least the sixth consideration in the West uh, team, which is why we are going with LaMarcus Aldridge, another no brainer. All right, so my other front court player in the Eastern Conference. 
honestly, very slim pickings in this conference. There's not that many to choose from. But because I have to, I will choose another all-star. Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap. Yes, Paul Millsap has made the Atlanta Hawks kind of forget about Josh Smith. Now for the West, I think that this guy deserves to be on the All-Star team as well. He is, um, I think, the leading candidate for Most Improved Player of the Year. So we're putting in Anthony Davis. I like that choice. Mm -hmm. Him and his unibrow deserve to be in the All-Star Both of them. Yeah. If they could just be two separate entities, I would love that. So my last front court player in the Eastern Conference this is a tough one. I would choose for the front court another big that can dominate inside the paint and has been having a, a lot of highlights this season. Andre Drummond. Very nice choice. So that, I think, makes up your East front court reserves. Yes, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so to wrap up, Dwight, just kidding. Say, I'm gonna go with DeMarcus Cousins, small forward. Uh, okay, I actually like DeMarcus. Mm -hmm. He's been doing really well. He's been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. He's been playing really well yep. this year. DeMarcus Cousins. Are you sad that I didn't pick Dwight Howard, though? <laughs> Dwight Howard does not exist to me. <laughs> anyway, over in the East, for my backcourt, I am picking three players. Hmm, I think my first player that I'm going to choose is somebody who I think could have been a starter as well. John Wall. As a backcourt reserve in the West, we will go with who Kobe Bryant wanted his fans to vote for into the starters, Damian Lillard. No brainer. No brainer. Sixth at best point guard in the NBA at the moment. No brainer at all. Damian Lillard deserves to be in the All-Star game. Now back to the East. I would go... Oh, interesting. Raptors are doing pretty good. That is true. Now for the West backcourt, uh, let's see. Appearing in his nth All Star already. Steve Nash. <gasps> no, close though. Tony Parker. Uh, Tony Parker. Well, they're both foreign players, and they're both rather vintage. Vintage. I like the choice of words there. Thank vintage. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Just like you. So I have one more backcourt player to choose for the Eastern Conference, and there's quite a bit of names that I'm gonna go through here. Let's see. I think somebody from the team that Michael Jordan owns. <gasps> Kemba Walker! I think he'll do pretty good. Yeah, there's a, there, there's a small team that I just put together there. <laughs> like you said, slim pickings. Uh, however, in the West though, I think that just to complete my sort of cast, for the reserves. Over at the front court, we had the unibrow. I'm gonna put in the beard. Please. I think James Harden deserves to be part of this all-star team. So, those are our thoughts of the all-star reserves. Reserves. And you didn't pick Dwight Howard. I'm kind of surprised about that. You like, know what? No center, no center for the Western Conference? Um, you know what? I was thinking about it. Uh, maybe Dwight Howard should just, you know, not. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I like we'll that. See. We'll see. I, right? I, I appreciate that. Uh, I, I did that for you. I, you don't have to do anything for me. If you want to do something for me, give me your ticket to go to the game. I told you I'd stuff you in my luggage. It's minion friendly. It has all your toys and stuff. <laughs> all your toys. <laughs> but of course, uh, of course, the mid-season classic is going to be classic as it, it, is. As it, it always is. is. It's, you know, the NBA All-Star Weekend is fun for everyone. Mm -hmm. The viewers, mm -hmm. the players, you know, the fans over here, mm -hmm. you know, they can catch everything on BTV. And then you're gonna be asking questions from the fans. I will. So you guys can send in those tweets. Uh, you can use the hashtag, of course, which is BTV in NOLA, and we will be sure to ask your favorite All-Stars those questions. Gino, yes. do you have any special requests? You know, something you wanna ask Hobie, something, you know, any, anything, is there anything I can Let's do for you? Let's see, okay. Is there somebody in particular you want me to, to go up to and, you know, um, smack in the head? Go up to Paul George okay. and say that, because I've spoken to him several times about this. Okay. Last year in Houston, this okay. year in, in, in Manila, or sorry, last year, 2013 in Manila, and tell him that I want to congratulate him. And I wish I could have done it in person, okay. but that he made it as a start in the All-Star Weekend. And I think that's that, nice. 
I think that he definitely deserves it. I mean, if you ask me, he's a top three player in the NBA right now. There you go. So just like Gina, you guys can send in those questions. If there's anything you want asked, again, through Twitter, it's hashtag BTV in NOLA. The coverage, of course, runs from February 15, 16, and 17. All right. The final buzzer has sounded in this episode of The Dugout. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that I'm not going to be seeing you for a little bit, but that's all right. That's okay. Don't miss me too much. And of course, why don't you do the honors of telling everybody how to get a hold of us? Well, there is our website, www.btv.com.ph. Like us on Facebook and follow at BTV Hoops on Twitter as well, at Gina Rufino, at Ricky Flo. All right. It's going to dug out. Until next time.